Today we're going to talk about quilts. You might have a quilt at home. So a quilt is like a big blanket with a lot of patterns that have been sewn together. So quilts have been around for a long, long time, about 5,000 years. At first, it was when people used to just sew pieces of fabric, like leftover material that when they made their clothes, and they would sew them together and make a blanket to keep you warm. But over the years, those patterns became so popular and so beautiful, they became artwork. So we are going to do a quilt assignment using paper and markers. And I'm gonna guide you to do something beautiful like this. Okay, so follow me. It should be really simple to do. You are gonna need I want you to collect yourself four different color markers because we're only going to use four colors, okay? So your favorite four colors, you're going to need a white piece of paper, favorite four colors, and a white piece of paper. Now, what you're going to do first, this is the most important part, is to, the quilt has to be done very precise and the lines and everything should be really straight. So I know this might be a little challenging for some of you, but I'm gonna help you. The first thing is, let's just do this together. You're gonna fold your paper in half, okay? You're gonna fold your paper in half again. One more time, it's getting tiny, tiny, and hard to fold. One more time. And one more time. Oh my goodness, look at how tight it's getting. Now, when I open up my paper, guess what? I'm going to have all these lovely squares. I should have about 16 squares. You can go this way or you can go that way. So, let's start with our paper first. Fold it up so that you have these really nice, really even squares, okay? And now, let's start doing quilt designs. So scholars, the first thing we're gonna do once you have all your squares made by folding your paper is we gotta take a pencil and a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you know, a piece of paper actually works like a ruler. I actually can use my the edge of my paper and do lines with it, okay? But I'm going to use my ruler and what we're going to do in each little square, we're going to make very straight X's. And we're going to go with my ruler and I'm going to make an X in each box. So and next goes that way from corner to corner. Like that. Okay. So I'm going to put excess in all my boxes. And you are going to do the same thing. Okay. So you see how I have all my boxes have excess in the middle. So now we've created little triangles, right? We took our rectangle shape, we made an X, and now in each box we have four triangles. You see that? Each little box by itself has four triangles. So we're going to put a different color in each triangle of every box. So I'm going to start with my orange and I always do everything on another paper. This paper has paint on it and it has marks because your markers are going to bleed through so you don't want to ruin your table. So I'm going to start with my orange and I'm just going to color in. You see how my colors, if I do this, it goes off my paper. That's why I have paper underneath every time I color with markers or with paint. Crayons aren't so bad. You can use crayons for this project too. Okay, 
So I've colored my first square orange. So I'm going to go ahead and do all my four colors. Let me do blue up here. Okay. So this is my design and you can do the same thing. You can repeat the same design on the next square and the next square and the next square. Or you can change them around. You can actually put the green here and the orange here. It's up to you how you want your quilt to look. So I'm going to play around with mine changing my colors around and I'll show you what it looks like in the end. So I want to, um, I've, I'm working on my quilt design and I've made a few mistakes and I want to let you know that when we make mistakes it's okay you just keep going you don't worry about them especially because I'm using markers I can't erase them right so mistakes are okay and I was just going along because you know this is going to take you a long time to do this is something that you're going to have to take many breaks like you'll do maybe four sections and then your hand gets tired and you got to take a break but you know it's going to look really beautiful but I did I was just doing mine and I was not thinking and I put another red here and I was trying to follow this pattern all the way down and then I realized, oh, that was supposed to be a green. Now my, my other red is going to just connect to that red. I did the same thing here. I put an orange next to an orange when I was trying to do an orange, uh, when I was trying to do something different. But that's okay. You know what? I'm just going to keep going because this is how it turns out because you and I are only human and we make mistakes but we keep going it's still gonna look beautiful so I'm gonna finish this last row and you can watch while I do this Okay, so I finished my quilt and again I made a few mistakes but again we are okay now I'm going to take a black marker and I'm going to add some patterns and designs just anywhere I want and I like dots so I'm going to put in in all my orange squares I'm going to put in some dots so let's start here I think for these last four orange, I'm going to make just squiggles. Because they are next to each other, and this way it'll separate the shapes. So I know that there's some little diamonds. Okay? And now I'm going to add all kinds of other designs on the other colors and you can do as many designs as you want um, but I do want you to add something on some of the colors don't just leave the colors because <clears throat> that's what makes a quilt look so pretty is that there's a lot of things going on there's a lot of patterns these are patterns there's there's shapes different shapes and we are using as many designs as we can so I will show you what it looks like at the end. First here is my finished quilt and I added some dots, some lines, and some little squiggles. This is good so far. Um, I think this is how much I'm going to do. I did leave all the blues empty and that's fine because all the other colors have some pattern or some sort of design. So I hope you have a lot of fun doing this. Take your time. You're going to have time to do this so go slow and do a few at a time take a break and do a few more and it might even take you a couple of days so don't rush do the best you can and again you can use markers you can use crayons you can even use paint but you have to be very careful with paint so that you can keep all your lines nice and straight all right we'll see you at the end